so we're starting this week's vlog with uh, some amazingness. Um, we've been kind of, hold on, I gotta clean this camera a little bit. So, we've been pretty much stuck at home, and so that means date night is usually not, you know, easily done. Uh, but, um, since I go back to work tomorrow, we wanted to have a nice home-cooked, relaxing, you know, semi-romantic, rom romantic, romantic, uh, dinner so um so here's here's what we've got i forgot the candles oh don't worry about the candles <sighs> so we've oh, yeah. got no that's not the centerpiece of the thing but we've got some nice nice good bottle of wine we've got some lamb shanks we've also got some keto uh mac and cheese and we've got each other Yes. Oh, and if you're wondering, I kind of went low on this side, too, so I'm not bald, but okay. <laughs> Good thing you not love me the way I am. I do. But here's the thing, guys. You've got to take time. Ow, that was loud in my sorry, ear. Sorry, You have to take time for each other, um, especially now when it's so hard to go out and just have a good time. you got to take time to be with each other. Yes, and I just want to say... Oh, sorry. That, and I'm not gonna get emotional. I always tell you that I'm not gonna get emotional when these, mm, and I get emotional. But anyway, if I cry, I cry. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm usually the the what is it? The crying romantic in the relationship. But um, yeah. So I just want to tell you, oh Lord Jesus, I can't already. I can't do this right now. Okay. Whew, just say what I gotta say. Um, that there's no one else in the world I want to go through a pandemic. Or like an emergency with, but with you because <laughs> it's so hard not to cry. Um, because like you're always there for me, and you take such good care of me. And ever since we were friends, Eli, we have a whole history. So we've known each other for about 10, 11 years now. I always say ten years, but for a long time. And he's yeah. always since my friend taken care of me, and. And, you know, now we're married and, and we're going through this pandemic and I have had anxiety. I have had social anxiety. I had a panic attack. I think maybe twice. But Eli and all of that just, he's really a good husband and he's really, he's the best, like, life partner that God has blessed me with because I know people cannot tolerate my social anxiety or when I get a panic attack. They don't know how to handle situations, but he does and he always tries to make me laugh and just just knowing that I have a piece that my husband is the best husband in the world and he's cooking me a good dinner because I don't like to cook <laughs> <laughs> so I need a man that can cook at this pandemic <laughs> so I'm ready to eat now <laughs> it's your turn to say and, something um, super romantic too don't leave me hanging um I just I love you and um to me, yeah, it took a, a little bit to get the meal done, but every moment of it was worth it because we're going to get to sit and just enjoy it together. And um, and so I love you, and I wouldn't want to go through even a zombie apocalypse with anybody else. Even though I get crazy? Yeah. You I know I get crazy. Yeah. That's the but, best part. But, but I love you. <laughs> I love you a lot, babe. And I'm hungry. And also, my oh, phone is going to die soon, so... Yeah. I love you. Alright, no and crying. Eat. Alright, so. Uh, yay. Uh, so, the vlog continues. Uh, today, we're going to have an interesting uh, vlog. Uh, we have, for those who know or don't know, we have a pet snake. Um, and uh, his name is Cinnamon. He's wonderfully delightful um and he has been hiding all week he's been in shed so aside from checking on him from time to time he has been hiding all day and all night um and Kyrie checked on him just a bit ago just as we were planning on starting to 
do some uh, some vlogging. And he finished shedding. Now, Cinnamon always likes to wait till Sunday to shed, apparently. But he didn't wait this time. He just, I guess he didn't want to shed on Easter. Um, he wanted the focus to be on the Lord. So, uh, in just a bit, we are going to actually vlog um, not just uh, taking his shit out and uh, and stuff. We're also going to do his uh, tank care, uh, habitat care, um, and it's it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, fun, lots of fun. So, uh, and also uh, because we haven't been having uh, services uh, at our church. Um, last night I was there, uh, recording, I was there two nights in a row, one night was recording the worship, the other night was recording another video that then just didn't work out, because it was too late, and we were too tired, and so I did that yesterday after work, which I was still a little too tired, but, um, it is for Easter, uh, for Resurrection, Resurrection Sunday, that's a hard word to say, um, and so it's been really crazy, I've we haven't really had a chance to record much this week because I've been at work and when I'm not at work I'm sleeping because it's just been crazy um, but I got to bring home and borrow one of our fancy uh, stable cam uh, things so that should make vlogging a little uh, easier today and for the next couple of days so, uh, and a little more stable, one would say. So, uh, we're gonna have some shots of Cinnamon having his tank refreshed, which is gonna be nice. Hey guys, so, uh, like I said uh, just a bit ago, we are going to do some maintenance on our wonderful uh, pet, baby boy. Our wonderful baby boy, Cinnamon. He shed, finally, which yes. means he... Which means I can hold him and yeah. squeeze him and, and squish him. Okay, well, maybe maybe not so much. <laughs> but uh, we are going to uh, not just uh, clean his shed and take him out and stuff. We're also going to do a refresh on his tank. Yes, with, renovate. Uh, renovate. Yeah, we're going to put in some new, some more substrate, which we're actually running out of our favorite one. Yeah, this is our friend Brian. Yes, Brian. E uh, Eli, well, I was gonna say, Cinnamon loves Brian. We watch him on YouTube. He is a reptile person. Okay. He's a breeder, but also has yes. the uh, the ever famous Reptarium. Yeah. And then this one, so, <laughs> it's funny because Cinnamon got a PR package from PetSmart and they sent him the natural loose the natural loose coconut soil bedding for Christmas so we haven't opened it yet hopefully he'll like this one because he really likes the Brian one we've yeah. tried different substrates for him and the coconut soil is the best because it's soft for their scales and like he likes to dig holes and stuff which I don't understand why but okay we don't have any moss this time to put in, uh, but that's fine uh, because we do keep him very, very well humidified. Um, we are we're, good snake parents. And we're going to see how good the humidification <laughs> was, depending on how well he shed. So uh, that's going to be awesome, and uh, we are going to get started. Up. Some, most of, a lot of this is going to be like sped up, yes, because this is going to take a little while. Yes. Um, but uh, it's going to be great. Let's do it! Why can't I take him out now? Uh, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, first thing you want to do is you want to turn off certain things, and in this case, we want to make sure that our uh, Repti Fogger is off. Well, let's show you guys his top of his house equipment yeah. later. Yeah, we're going to go through that stuff later. Um, but, the easiest way to do this is actually just to take the glass off in the first place. Ooh, ah, ooh. Uh, this one is actually glass. It's the one that came with the tank. Uh, when we got this tank, which is a, uh, this is a vision cage. Uh, vision uh, before uh, 
another company bought them. Um, but then it was that company who sent it to us. Unfortunately, one of the glass panes was broken, so we had to replace it, and I replaced yes. it by cutting a piece of plexi. And uh, because I learned that, because my dad taught me how to cut plexi last. Nice. Uh, so um, we replaced it with that, and the easiest thing to do is just take those off uh, because that just makes and then working with it easier. And now I can grab now we will be taking them out. Let me move this out of the way. Hello, Hello, buddy. Hi. Oh, that's your face? I'm so sorry. Hi, big boy. Hello, he is a big boy. Oh, my goodness. Mama woke you up. You're so fat. Look at you. Okay, you did the shedding, so you know what's going to happen now. Oh, Jesus, you are fat. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. There we go. Oh. Why are you trying to stick to the... As you guys can see, he is definitely a fan of the test trucks. Oh no, he's trying to go back in. Oh no. Of course he is. Oh, you need to let go of this side of the... <laughs> What's he holding on to? He's holding on to everything. He's uh... like, mama, no. Baby boy, you have not seen your mama for a whole... You was in quarantine for three weeks. Hello. Hey, boy. Oh, oh, you spooky. Mama spooked you with her big lips. All right, let's check that. His eye. I think it shed completely. So, last time he shed, let me get back here. Look at him. So, He's so fat and fluffy. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> wow. So last time he shed, uh, there he didn't shed very well. It like came all apart. Uh, usually his sheds. Ooh. Wow. Usually his sheds. Oh, uh, oh, he's trying to look at your butt. <laughs> well, I don't really have one within reach, but usually. <laughs> hey, but hi, buddy. Look, he's talking to Hello. Diane. This is how he says hi Hello. to Diane. Wait, move closer to the camera. This is how he says hi, hi to Diane. Hi. But he don't do that to mommy hi. sometimes. You okay? You shed good? Yeah. Are you gonna say hi to mommy now? It's a monster. So last time uh, he oh, shed, it didn't come off in all in one piece, and that kind of really, uh, kind of sad, really, because um, what we found was that he had a piece of shed stuck on one of his eyes, um, and then it kind of restuck. But we just left it. We left it there. We got rid of as much of the shed as we could, but we left it there because um, it was just gonna come off on the next shed and it did uh so that's great his eyes look good so she's gonna hold him there for a little bit and uh then we also took out his little travel case uh so that eventually we could just both uh work on the thing at the same time so um let's take a look at this shed so it looks like it came off in two pieces um, he is definitely a big boy because look at that, that piece of belly. <laughs> That's crazy. It looks like the majority of it came Can off. Can you see his eyeballs on his head? Shed? That's what I'm going to check. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, it kind of came apart. So it, it really also depends on how he got it off. Um, it feels smooth. Uh, because depending on how he breaks it off and how he opens it, it's, you know, ultimately it's really just up to him how he does it. Uh, I think that's see. his fat part. Yeah, that's his belly. But, hey, oh. hey, no, 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 you don't go be in mama's stuff. You need to behave yourself, sir, your camera. Oh, look at this. Look at this cuddle. Oh, oh, look at him cuddling. You, oh, look at you cuddling. Oh, guys, look. He is this big and fat. We used to be able to hold him in the palm of our hand, and then he grew into a little man. <laughs> he grew. And we've had him for how long? Three years? Almost four years now? Uh, I want to say it's probably more like four years. Four years with this bad boy. Well, he's not really bad. He's the sweetest thing. Look at him. Can you say hi? Can you look at the camera? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, this well, is our 
fairly Panda certain. Boy. Fairly certain that's an eye cup. Let me. Oh, let me show. So last time, I don't know if you guys can see this. Cinnamon, you've fallen all sorts of ways. Um, if you see that clear thing on my hand, I don't know if you guys can see that, but he had that stuck on his eye. So we had to do a lot to soak him and get it out because they can go blind if it doesn't come out in a couple of sheds. But it looks like his eyes are creepy and vibrant, so. They don't look glossy or like they have something stuck to them, so I'm happy this time. I'm so proud of you for coming out. All right, so I'm going to take out the There's a little eye capsule. Look at it. You can put it in here. Oh, it's not coming out. So this is the main part of his ah. shed. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice long shed. Uh, it didn't come out in one piece. I guess it, it's also probably because he's running out of space in this hide of his. Um, he tends to burrow a little bit underneath it so that he has space. But but soon his his little rock home is gonna have to be go to a sibling is going to have to be <laughs> uh, replaced with something bigger. Pretty much. All right. So, now comes the fun part of taking everything out. Here's his other hide that he's never used. Uh, mostly because it's too small for him. Um, he just likes to perch on it. Hey, 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 yeah, he does, I tell you? He does like to climb around on it. All right, he is being very active right now. So I'm gonna put him in his travel case. Mom's gonna put you in your travel case because you want to wrap on Mama's filming equipment. <laughs> Look at him, baby. But you're so cute. Oh my God, you're so cute, Mama. So she's going to put him in his little travel case. All right, he's in there exploring down there. All right. So we're gonna start taking everything out, and we kind of space everything in here in a way where everything fits in the position and stuff that everything is in. Yeah, and usually you're supposed to um, clean out their enclosures every three months. Um, we're kind of bad because we didn't do that. <laughs> we haven't done it mostly because we do very efficiently spot clean and stuff. Uh, That's true. When he sheds and poops, and this is his giant. I bought him that toy. Branch that his mom. Because he him. likes to climb. He's very spoiled. As you can see, he has plants. He has nice hide. He has more plants, and he just likes to perch on these things. And you know, Mama spoiled him a little bit because that's <laughs> Mama's baby. So. <laughs> So, we still have to take out his, his water dish. Ginormous water dish. Uh, which he often falls into. Yes. Okay, and then we have this big. Oh, we missed the plant. We have this big scooper thing that we usually scoop out, like his it's, poop, pee. Yeah shed sometimes and now his stuff drink so I'm gonna let Eli do that I'm just gonna hold the bag open for him because I am messy I'm over here looking at him inside his thing because he's watching us yes all he's right watching our feet. okay so now we're not entirely gonna throw all of this out there is a plant that we that I need to replant into a bigger pot and so some of this is going to end up being used for that bring it closer
So now we're gonna use the Healthy Habitat spray. It's just really good to clean his tank with and to spray, cause you know, all that stuff that was there before. So you just give it a really good spritz. And this has lasted us a long time, right? Well, we, we bought a big gallon of it. Um, <coughs> oh. we, we've refilled it and stuff and uh, it just, it works really well. It's safe for the animal. Um, and it also deodorizes the tank, so. Okay, I think that's good. No, I need to more. more. Eli's gonna go spray his stuff down. Do oh my lord. Okay. I'm gonna go spray this stuff down. And wash his um, water dish. And I am going to finish up here. So basically, you just dump in the um, substrate. There's not that much in here, sadly. Brian, if you wanna, you know, <laughs> send us some. That would be great. And you just spread it around. So I guess this is like the first layer that we're doing. Yeah, that's it for this bag here. Oh. All right, and then we're gonna open his new one. And hopefully you like this one, Cinnabon, because we've never tried this one before. And yeah. We're so appreciative that he gets PR packages for reptile stuff. Cause reptile things, you know, it adds up and it's expensive. This is Brian Barczyk. Please check him out on YouTube. He is awesome. With He has all sorts of reptiles and he sells them and breeds them. So this substrate is from him and this is from PetSmart. So yeah. So when we do the clean out, what we do is we actually, uh, I, I take the stuff, I put it in the shower, I soak it with his, with his spray. Uh, am I that boring? And no, then, um, I'm hungry. <laughs> kind of. And then what we do is, uh, then we just wash it off with, uh, with hot water. Guys, I decided that I want to have more snakes. People are not fond of snakes, and that's fine. You do you, boo. But like, you know, I just have passionate about learning about them and cinnamon needs some more siblings so <laughs> you like shaking his head I mean in the future you know I'd like to have a reptile room and inform people of all the beautiful reptiles that God made because people don't know these things and they're scared of them and God gave us dominion hey okay I'm gonna stop now <laughs> Or should I leave it there? You can probably take it off. Yeah, I'll take it off. It's not Christmas no more. So, I try to decorate. It's Easter. It is Easter. Hey! It's Easter! Easter, Easter! Oh, I think I should probably wipe up here. Because it's a little... <laughs> a little dusty. Now his water dish is big enough that he can soak in it if he has to. Uh, 
but also speaking up that if he falls into it, he's fine. And he does like falling into his dish, apparently. Baby. No, he just likes to climb and he doesn't understand that he's too big to be in certain places and then he falls. And then he stays there as if we <laughs> he stays very still as if we didn't see what he just did. Which is always funny. All right, so we're getting ready now to... I'm just gonna check quickly that while we traveled, he didn't poop anywhere or anything like that. No, I checked with myself. Okay, good. So, let's go. Yeah. You can, you can poop them. Where is it? I got it. Setting up his. You lost it. You know what I mean? Your eyes look green. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. It's such a pity. Oh, some back behind that big branch because he likes to be back there for some reason. We take such good care of you. So yeah, um, anything you want to say about this mix? Well, you know, I think one of the interesting things uh, is once you have uh, an, an animal of any kind, you, you actually kind of realize that um, they have they have a whole lot of personality, um, and even when you even when it's the type of animal you don't expect that kind of thing from. Mm -hmm. um, or that they just show it a different way. Um, they show their personality in different ways. And that's really the key. Yes. Learning that um, every animal has its own personality and character. And Cinnamon just happens to be a very calm and happy snake. Funny. He is very funny. Which people don't like believe us. Like he watches TV for 40 minutes. He likes to take our sandals or our shoes. He likes to play with boxes, which is weird. <laughs> yeah, we we opened a box uh, of chips once, and we left the box on the floor, and we decided to take him out that day. And he proceeded to spin the box, get in the box, come out of the box, spin the box some more. You're, don't worry about that. You sure? Yeah. I'm just like, every last bit. Because we don't have any more substrate, so we have to order. Yeah, we're going to order some, but we're probably going to take, uh... Or if, you know, Pet Smart would like to send some more, that would be great. <laughs> Shout out to Brian Barczyk, because his, uh, his substrate is the one Cinnamon likes. Well, we don't know if he's going to like this one yet, so... 
There's a mix of substrate You're right. Here. Were you just rubbing your eye on my finger, Cinnamon? <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop here. What's the little mama doing? Oh, you don't want to kiss mama now on TV? <laughs> if you kiss daddy, you're in trouble. He kissed me already. He did? Hi. <laughs> One day we should do like snake cam and do a cinnamon voiceover. We have the camera. He's like, ooh, well now I'm going to hide it on my head. All right, so. God, are you so cute? All right, God. so. I love my baby. There goes Cinnamon. He's all up in there. He's uh, exploring his newly clean tank, as you can see. He's got plenty of things that he can hide behind and cover and get cover uh, in, because that's what snakes. Because that is what snakes like to do they like to hide so let me show you some of the things that are actually in here obviously his hide that little cable that you see there has a is a probe that lets us know what the temperature is on that side um, up here this is the um, he's one of his humidistats it's connected to that right there and that actually uh, shows us what the level of humidity is right there um, and it automatically switches on and off the uh, the reptifogger which Kyrie is currently refilling um, the other way that we check what the humidity is and stuff is we use that classic thermometer slash humidistat um, he also has uh, another Temperature probe there. His water dish is back there. Cinnamon is over there. And now the top of his uh, his enclosure, which we are going to clean after we finish putting him in. He's got one temperature. Oh, I wiped it down. Yeah. Oh, cinnamon, you have stuff in your face. You, you like got a beard, boy. Yeah. What are you doing? You want me to take that out? You want me to take that out, buddy? Come here. Come. I'll, I'll take it out. Come. No, you got that one? You okay? Oh, you got the bright light in his face. He's like, daddy. Oh, see? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> like a scary cat. Hey, mommy okay, needs you, to come over here. You have to. Babe, babe, babe. Huh? I can't get that other one out, buddy. There, there's your hide. There's your hide. There you go. All right. Okay. So he's on his way in. As you can see, he definitely has a poopy. I mean, he's going to release that soon. There we go. Let it go. That's all filled. So that is his reptifogger. Uh, and it pipes down to right there. Uh, this is his night light. It has a UV light in it. It also doubles as a, as a heating lamp. Over here, he's got his main heating lamp, uh, which I won't touch because it's hot. 
um, but it has an infrared uh, type bulb. This is his daylight. We are gonna wipe all this stuff down now because none of this stuff sees a lot of action. Uh, but he's got one thermometer here. He's got another thermometer over here. And those are just general thermometers. They're not super duper accurate. Uh, I find that that one is actually more accurate. Um, but down here is where all the action happens because this is the main switch for his daylight and his uh, and his heating lamp. Those are on a timer. I'm sorry. Uh, I love how he's like has only his head sticking in. The rest of his body is out. Hey, Cinnamon, we can see you. Then this timer is for his night light. Uh, I am also going to go through and adjust them because of daylight uh, savings time oh. and stuff. Hi! He came out. Look who's there. And actually, that's pretty much all of the action. That, that's pretty much all of the action that goes on down here. Oh my God, what are you doing? Um, everything else is plugged in and always ready to go. He does have um, a hold. You gotta hold on to him. Boy. S boy. Cinnamon, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going, boy? Where are you going, buddy? Okay. There, oh, now no, you, there go you go. There you go. Uh, he has a heating pad here. Uh, and that one's sort of like at middle level because it is an adjustable one and then he also has a heating pad on the side here which i have to actually stick back on because it is unsticking a little uh, there we go maybe okay it's really just because of the cable oh there he goes lifting uh, his heart trying to push his body in. but yeah so <laughs> that's pretty much it we did it! High five! You can see here. Oh wow. Wait, you can see here his night light and it turns on and his daylight is on. We did yeah. it. High five. High five. Couple snake taking care of power. <laughs> Alright, and then now before he tries to poke his head out again. We uh, Do you need help? That one. It's there. Oh, he's like, oh no, look, look, he's trying to make, <laughs> make it a run dash for, it. for it. No, no. Watch it, baby boy. It. Oh yeah, he's trying to make a run for it. He's like, no, I almost was there. And then his lock, which I don't know where it is right now. There, there it goes. And then his lock. And this keeps him from coming out and terrorizing the neighbors. He doesn't terrorize. He doesn't terrorize it. But yeah, so there we have it. Now he's going back home. Now we're just gonna do a little bit more cleaning and wiping and stuff and uh, and yeah, and maybe some more vlogging in a little while. I'm hungry! So we just finished uh, filming a bunch of stuff for the vlog. Now I can't find my hat. Cause, oh, there it goes. Cause I have to go to the supermarket and uh, because gotta get some food and stuff. Uh, Cinnamon is having the time of his life right now. Um, let's see if he can get that. Well, he's inside now. He's in his hide. Just looking. Hi, hey, buddy. He turned on the vacuum cleaner, so he got a little spooked. But. He's all right. This tank is cool. I, uh, I attached his temperature things uh, so that they're velcroed. I still need to get some tape to fix that heating pad. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So I make a quick trip to the supermarket. I gotta get a couple of things and uh, gotta get a couple of things. We need food. There's currently a. Let's see if I can shot of it. There is a. A keto pizza in the oven. I don't know if you can see there or not. I'll find out for sure later. Timer is on, so that when it's ready, uh, Kyrie can take it out, and she can enjoy some of that. 
and yeah. So, I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna go get a couple of things. And, uh, and see what it's like outside. Um, let's see. Alright, guys. The camera's over there. Hey, guys. I'm picking my nose. Just kidding. Ew! Hey, guys. Cue the music. There's no one to control the camera, so it doesn't really matter what we do. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh. You're such a good daddy snake. And I'm such a good mommy snake. <laughs> I know my baby. I told Eli, leave him alone. He's shedding. And then Eli lifted a rock. <laughs> 